Hello, Devon Wolf from Mystical Drumming, mysticaldrumming.com. Playing 16th notes with the bass drum. This is using generally single bass, meaning your single pedal. You could, however, do this with double bass as well, absolutely. Uh, this is a double bass setup, so uh, if you don't have that, we encourage you to do that so you can add an entire new element to your drumming, which is a good thing. Okay, so if we're playing 16th notes with our bass drum, we're counting that out, okay? So this is playing, let's say, as we usually would do, not always, but usually, the right hand as quarter notes. So one and two and three and four and, right? If we were playing 16th notes on our bass drum with no snare, we'd have one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, right? If we put our snare drum in there, which is usually on two and four, not always, we'd have one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. We want to do 16th notes on the hi-hat while we were doing it with our bass drum to synchronize them, right? So now we have one Or you can do it two hands. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, three. Whatever. Okay. Um, now, we start breaking it up where we're not playing direct, straight, linear notes, connected uh, notes. Okay. Uh, what if we played only one E and not and uh? So we have one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. Put a snare drum in. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. Playing the snare and bass same time is so totally allowable, I assure you, at least until the date of this recording, to my knowledge. There is no... Uh, drum police out there writing tickets. However, nothing would shock me at this point. Okay, but you can do that. Generally though, you want to leave space for the snare. You know, with bass, snare, bass, snare, kind of like a bottom top, bottom top. Alright, so we might want to leave off some so that it's not playing at the same time meaning snare and the bass, right? So something like Sounds better, right? More bass. again so we can do just a 
single, instead of a double, one base, one snare. Alright, okay. Um, what if we were to play one E and the, uh, two E and the, uh, so the E and the da. Alright, so one E and the, uh, two we can put the note um, and it can be changed around such as one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. The permutation is almost infinite, almost infinite again, okay? So, um, have fun with that. I just want to give you an idea of how to incorporate that. Um, if you're new, just slow this down, meaning slow down your learning process, and uh, you'll see that it's very easy to incorporate. And then you can incorporate more difficult snare drum patterns, which we'll be offering you in the future. So you can incorporate that with your 16th note uh, bass drum patterns, or even 32nd note bass drum patterns. And yes, you can play your bass drum that fast. We're going to teach you how to do that. Uh, with different snare drum patterns, and you can have really good funky grooves, and you can use them as spills as well. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.